this week. Probably the next week, too. <clears throat> okay, what we have is this. Uh, saddle the grip. I want to have a start off with one grip in the sleeve. If the other one, let's start from the collar. But the main one is going to be this one here. You got this grip here. Once I have this grip, this can start stand up. You can start like this, you're sitting, or you try to engage, you get the, the sleeve. But you want this one here, you want to start first. Okay, one of the, the things that we don't pay attention too much in Jiu Jitsu is a grip fighting, especially with the gi. Either way, gi, no gi. Uh, sometimes we, we don't, don't pay attention to this, and we're always behind because of this. Get someone precise with his grips, you're always going to be behind. But San Judo has this a lot, wrestling has this a lot. And in Jiu Jitsu, it feels like uh, we, we get a little lazy with the grip exchange. And sometimes we don't know, we don't figure out how to use the guard because we don't know much what to do with our, our, our arms. It's a grip in combination with the feet, too. Okay, I have this here now. I have this sleeve. And if I have this sleeve and the collar, and he make the stance the way he make right now, and a lot of times, it's very important you're going to see this whole uh, uh, during this week. It's uh, how can dictate the directions for, of the, my techniques from a guard, dictate, depends how, how he uh, uh, stands in front of me. Got it? If you have his knees on the mat, if you have his stand up, if you have one, one leg up front, the one on the back. Right now what do we have? I came up for the collar sleeve and he switches stands like this here. It just makes sense for me to, to shoot for the, the mainly for collar sleeve, would it be the omoplata triangle situation? But once you put this leg up front over here, well, I'm gonna let it go of the collar, you're gonna grab the pants here. We have this, sitting this way, this foot in the hip, we have uh, control the sleeve, my right hand, my, my right hand control is left to the sleeve, uh, right foot inside his far leg, and this one, most likely you're gonna have to drop for this here, because once I get this, you're gonna try to push, boom, have this here. It is okay, have my leg, here, or even if you control for what I want to do, it doesn't, it's not gonna affect my position. If he has this. I'm gonna move him enough to at one point he's gonna have to let it go this one here. But stand, the good thing about this this here, it's a little harder for him to to take this foot out of the hip. It's a little harder. If you wanna have this here, it would be <coughs> easy for him to control this leg here. But stand, with because I have this one here, it's harder. When I say it's harder because it's, it's completely possible for him to drop the leg. But this one here saved me more time if I can maintain my foot in the hip. Do you understand? We have this, okay, my, my hands doing what I'm supposed to do. I control the pants over here, control the sleeve, this one here. We have a, a lot of different situations, sweeps for this one. We're gonna start off with this, uh, this one here. Foot inside the thigh, we're gonna drop this leg, gonna sit up. You need to be very precise when you're sitting. If, you, if I sit if you're halfway, he might gonna drive on the hooks here. Even I have this sleeve here, you can find grips for this hand as I'm holding. But what you want to do is once you sit, come up all the way and look for this here. So got it? Yes, sir. Oh, this hand is gonna pass, it's gonna fit my, my fingers here. It's very important because I don't have much time to spend over here. Okay, if, you, if you settle his base, if I'm not moving him, well, it's very easy to break this grip. If I allowed him to go through against one here, boom, it's easy. But if I can get this here and this here, or even this here, that's good for me. So he wants to switch here, go boom, boom, or this here. Got it? Sir, sir. Having this here, what are you gonna do? We have a lot of different motions to apply, but I, I'm gonna turn to the side here and fall, make him fall this way. I drop my leg, it goes this way here. I come all the way up. Once I have this, I'm gonna pin this leg, excuse me, his arm against the floor to make sure this leg is gonna get blocked. Got it? Keep my weight on top of his thigh and start driving to a side control here. Just once I have this knee go against his thigh, I can let it go the sleeve. One thing that we do a lot on our guard positions is we we get the what he want and we test his base. Yeah, we say all the time we get. The, let's see how he's gonna react. So if he's not stopping what I'm doing right now, if, if, I, if I'm being very precise with my control, 
my city, my, my transition over here, I don't give much answer for him to fight against what I'm doing. Do you understand? And we have two, two directions over here. Ball, ball. This, this. Sometimes you even control balls one, uh, like this is good, but it's, it's not gonna hurt you to go this way or this way here, but you hang the weight to the side. Look, and the second option for this is that once I turn this way, he drop his weight on this uh, front leg here. Look, he says you don't wanna drop to his knee. The first one as I come to the side, Look at you for the first one. And drag this it. Once he drop his knee on the, on the mat, there's no weight to come against me. I just need to drive. Just push, ball, get the arm block here. Then stop pass. Do you understand? Sir. But if I get this, <clears throat> he leans his weight on, the, on this leg here like this. I use the knee right behind his butt to take his weight away from me. Once he take the weight out, come. Again, one more time, that's the arm's gonna block his leg. Pin the arm. Don't pull the arm. That's the initial setup that we have for right now. Okay, he's gonna have a lot of ifs coming from positions like this, how he's gonna react, how he's gonna try to look for break the grip. Situation in case you cannot get this one here, but now everything's gonna come perfect for you. You got the bottom of the pants. Put inside the thigh, sitting, past the sleeve for this hand, grab right underneath his armpit or the collar, it will lean to the side. Whatever reaction he has as you fall, you're gonna know what to do. If he, the weight goes in the far knee, just come. If you lean his weight in the front leg, use your knee right behind his butt to push him, take the weight out of you. Sir. Got it? Sir. Let's go, guys. What we have now, this good control in the sleeve and be able to sit. I think I said that if I, if I maintain, it's, it's, you need to create a little bit more space. If it's too deep here, it's, it's gonna be hard for you to sit. And this can be controlled by you. Push your leg back and adjust your weight here, see? Don't, don't kick the leg, don't lose the ground. If I push too far, my leg drop, boom, it's not gonna work. Remember, all this here can be break, can be step over. He can even fi find a way to use this arm to go against that leg. Elbow can push this way. But having this saves me a little bit more time. Do you understand? He's going to show us how much that I'm going to present my weapons for him. Do you understand? More that I, I wrap him on grips, on the, and more that I'm going to... The, the reason that I'm doing this is because I feel trapped by him past my guard. Why right now, especially when you start the early the week, the techniques that we have, you shoot for the positions. If he is accepted, I take it. The more reaction that he has from the things that I'm doing, okay, more I'm gonna have to, more skills, more technique gonna put on to, to wrap him. But to control him in my guard and figure out a way to sweep him or submit him. Do you understand? Sure. But if whatever, if, let's say, if I, if I kick the leg, he falls to his butt, okay, good, let me take it. Got it? The opportunity that I have, of course, I'm looking for the best opportunities to, to get on top of him. Yeah? As a, if I can tap him from the bottom, good. But if he's not, I want to sweep him, get in a dominant position right away. If I cannot do this, I'm going to get a, a, a sweep that I'm going to end up in a, a position that I can start pressure guard. I can look for submission. Does it follow my thoughts? No. Yes, sir. Okay. Now I have the same thing. Go this way. I'm still be able to do this. When I say be able to do this, because if I cannot do with this hand, this arm he's gonna do something. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take much advantage as possible for his gi. Yeah? Because he's gonna use against me too. The same things that I can wrap him with my with my grips, he can do against me to pass my guard too. Do understand? That's why I'm avoiding another thing that I'm doing with this hand here is I make sure that I don't find grip for this hand. You know, you break here, boom, but this has to be my fully control. Especially to this transition over here. If, I, if he's holding my collar, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna make sure that I have control of this arm, and I'm sitting, throw the leg between the, uh, his leg, excuse me, uh, throw his arm between my leg and switch the grip. Got it? Okay, I'm going this way here, and he's, he still stands solid base, fighting to, because what he's looking for this, he posture up much as he can. Once he set his grip, he's go like this here to break my grip. You cannot let one grip is pretty easy to break. 
Why now it makes it a little harder to break for him? Because I have my foot inside the tire, mess with his base. He cannot stand in a solid uh, base to break the grip. Do you understand? Yes, in a combination of the pants, if I just go like this, yeah, boom, he's gonna break the grip. But a combination of all these pants, mess with his balance, his base, boom, boom, start, that's gonna help me to sit. But if he get super tall, good base, I'm not doing anything with my legs, I'm not pushing, I'm not pull, it's easy for him to break this grip here. Do you understand? Okay, once I get this, go like this here. And the motion is the same. If you look, look, I'm, I'm doing this. Oh, I'm coming this way. Look that he still have his base. I'm, I'm coming this way, but he's not moving. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look for this here. The same thing that I'm doing, go to the side here. If I, if I drop, he, he's not following me, it goes here. I move forward, I move closer to this leg here. Why now, what I have, I'm still be able to catch this leg. I'm saying this because the next one, I'm not gonna be able to catch this leg, but I, why now I'm doing this. Once I have this, I'm attaining, and this grip I'm pulling. I'm not just here, holding. I'm, I'm dragging between his legs, this, this one, pulling down. I just need to drive now, take his base away from him. What's then? Once I have this, I'm still gonna take advantage of grips that I have to land in a dominant position. Drop my shoulder in his stomach, take the step this leg back, you come up like in a leg drag position. Follow well, if you look this, let it go this one, and hold, hold his arm. Like if you guys remember a couple weeks ago, we did this grip here. And that grip, if you turn turtle position, gonna be very easy for me to capitalize, take his back, or start attack him. What's then? Okay. Oh, oh. City, quick transition, aggressive, get this grip. Still get this grip here. This arm is free now. And I'm, I'm doing this. He's just slide a little more. Go this, and take him to the side. He's reacting pretty good, solid grip, uh, solid base. I don't wanna start letting him move this way. Once you go this, it's very easy to pull this grip out. I have this here. Pull, grab the arm, Remember, what I said is this, you go that way, go turn that way. It's really hard for you to turn, but if, as you turn, you can see what I can do now with the grip on the arm. Sir. Any questions? Let's go, guys. Still doing this. We still have to work possibilities in case that if I get this, but I cannot get this. What, what I have to do with this arm? It's not the case, you still be able to do this. Do you understand? Sure. I have this, look at this, boom. He posture, move his, his leg away, yes. The leg's not there. He, he's, uh, he's spread his base more. If he, if he does that, he's, he's not as solid that he was if he narrow his stance a little more. Yep, sure. that's that, once he, you see skateboarders or surfers, they don't surf like this. Yeah, it's good to relate because it, he needs the balance, you know? It's not, the, the floor is not shaky, but I'm shaking him, right? Yes, uh, deadlifter, you, the guy that is uh, doing deadlifting don't deadlift like you, his, his legs are part this way. He actually doesn't for sumo deadlift, it's, but it's not, it's not that wide. <laughs> not, I'm not able to catch. But look this, the same thing. I cannot catch this, move away. I have my arm post on the mat. Wrap this leg here, and you're gonna yank tight this. You pull, you sweep the foot out of the ground. You're gonna be able to do it because his weight is spread, is spread that's right? Spread. Spread. Yeah, spread. he's not driving. Do you understand? If you get this far because he's avoiding He's avoiding me go this way. He's avoiding me to catch this leg here like this. It's not gonna hurt for you to try come up this way. Do you understand? Exactly. How this gonna work? It's a nice tight slide pull that I do, like half technique stand up. If you picture this leg here, I'm doing kind of you do for technique stand up. But I'm dragging his foot on the knees. I'm overextending his knee first, this, and now goes boom. Do you understand? Yes, and on this here, we have pop. 
Kind of the same thing, you grab the arm. I want this arm if his arm goes over my shoulder. If he's under, I don't need this arm. I'm probably gonna have to take this arm out, make sure to block his, uh, his hip, because he's gonna look for the hook, right? If you look for the hook here, if you cannot stop the hook right away, the good thing to do is to drive the sand over the side here to stop his on the hook. Sure. But stand. You guys got this one? If you're still not falling from this, how is it not gonna fall? Let's say that if it goes this way here, catch. Once I catch the foot, I miss the foot. Oh, we come up this way. One of the things that we hate to do it, and a lot of times we see ourselves, anyone, even tournament, the guy go all the way up, he's gonna spend energy with the single leg, he just give up the leg. Let's take advantage for what I have. I'm not, I'm not driving, I'm not tackling him. I don't have the momentum in my favorite, my favorite to run the pipe, you know, like uh, single leg, you go forward and back step to the side, boom, make him fall to his butt. But I have this, do I stand? If I come up here and now go, going back to the grip that I had, the sand was here, but if I can get this one here and come up, hold, say like this, his head's below my head, do I stand? And I'm pulling this as much as that I can. If I pull this one here like this, and he starts going forward like this, he's gonna fall this way. He's coming up. Instead of tackle him all the way to the, we do pull up a single leg, double leg, things like driving. No, I'm pulling, take advantage of the sleeve. Do not stand? Sure. And the second option, if it goes this way, and he posture up, I throw the arm right behind right behind his, his, his neck to this. Last thing that I want is let him face you in a stand position, start bouncing his foot. And now I lose the momentum, the, the grips on my favor here. Even if you have the grip, it's hard to create the push and pull because it's already like this. What stand? Yes, sir. One more time. Sure. You come up with the sweep, nice tight sweep, toof. And uh, if it, the foot come out, or if it still stands for some reason, you finish your, your tackle stand up. It's not finish your tackle stand because you're driving forward too. It's not all the way up. I'm not back step this leg in a, all the way to tackle stand up. Look, do this, pull. pull yes. Pull, yeah. It's this, come up forward. Don't back it up here. Do not stand? Yes, sir. And as I'm coming up, to, I'm gonna, I want him holding my weight, carrying my weight, and come up to pull the collar. If I go this way here, he, he bounces, take him over the other way. And this sometimes can, as long as you're still, you're still doing this, you can go back and forth a couple of times because he wants this here. He wants to stay in one leg. But if his head forward or leaning back, you have a way better chance to finish your off. Take down. What's that? Any questions? Let's go.